Hey everyone, the castle here. So I got a bunch of stuff to talk about. So um, let's see. Uh, where to start? Where to begin? Where to begin? Where to begin? Uh, Revulsion got a patch, a small update, um, that just toned down the gauntlet flash effect, and it should be a pretty significant difference. If you look here, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a request. Uh, I made sure that that uh that got done. Sorry it took me so long. i just been really busy. And actually, let me show you some of the stuff I've been uh, busy with. Now, I know that a lot of people are probably still expecting, like, a lot of the X-Alive progress and everything like that. But I'm actually, I purposefully took, like, I'm kind of, like, taking, like, a small break from X-Alive so that I can come back to it refreshed. Because I had been working on it nonstop way for, like, a very solid amount of time. And once I do come back to X-Alive development, then, uh... I'll be, you know, I'll be able to focus on it again and kind of approach it with better ideas, maybe better perspective, um, and in general and everything like that, right? So uh, it should be, it should be pretty good. Like it shouldn't be like a, a, a super crazy thing where I'm just like going at it nonstop. Anyway, I'm repeating myself. So um, I have two things to talk about. Uh, I've done a little bit of progress on. Uh, zombie dolls avatar and everything like that now here's something that I think I really should bring up um, Discord has a really interesting thing where I can make a tier on patreon I Can make a tier on patreon where you can gain access to my to us to certain discord channels on the castle was here discord, right? which is um which is going to be my, my main social hub for, uh, you know, Discord and everything like that, where you can see, like, all of the different projects, not just Revulsion, but all of the different projects that I'm currently working on and everything like that, and you see regular updates. Well, one of the things that's kind of interesting about that, though, is that um, uh, it's very possible in one of these Discords to do, like, a special screen share uh, thing where you can actually see, you can actually see the, um, whatever it is, like, I can screen share what I'm doing and I can have other developers coming in too and other people who are working on stuff uh, either it be VR chat stuff or Unreal 4 or whatever and we all just kinda like come together and screen share what we, you know while we're working and it ends up becoming kind of like a, a really interesting um, uh, gathering and I, I've been doing this sort of low-key for a little bit and it actually works out really well because I think it it gets around one of the main problems of game development streaming where if one person gets stuck on something, somebody else is probably doing something that's interesting, and you can watch that person while I'm stuck, you know, trying to develop some, um, I don't know, get around some bug or some limitation that I'm not, you know, that 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 ends up getting annoying, or you know what I mean? Like you could you could end up looking at some something that somebody else is doing instead, and people can also bounce ideas off of each other, and there could be you know just general conversation. Uh, overall and um honestly it, it it's pretty chill um so it maybe maybe i don't know if this is actually a good idea or not because i don't know like what kinds of people are gonna like donate but I, if i put a, a tier up i can i can make it so that you can gain access to that uh channel and if you're somebody that you know is cool uh and you know it's not going to cause trouble or uh or you know harass or or troll uh then you can be welcome into the dev stream as well and then i can get i can start actually develop you know getting back to my d live streaming again as well so um i can actually d live stream these kinds of events sometimes as well and actually kind of they, they they end up being fairly interesting like there's a there's usually a lot of interactivity going on we're usually helping each other out and we just um we kind of just keep bouncing off of each other and 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 creating cooler and cooler stuff and that's been that was one of the things that i was doing while i was working on um the zombie doll lounge so the zombie doll lounge has progressed um this is a vr chat level um vr chat is really good for me uh, mentally Whenever I, maybe this is actually a good advice for people who aren't, uh, you know, who who delve way into like game development and everything like that. 
Um, VRChat is really great for doing community stuff and light lighter de development because you don't you get immediate feedback if you have friends in 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 uh, VR chat or I guess you know in the future like virtual reality in general whenever you develop something that allows people to interact in you can make like a cool place or a new avatar or something like that people you get immediately you get immediate responses back from people in real time as they're experiencing it with you at the same time and it ends up being like a really good sorry about that sound a really good way to uh, to kind of refresh yourself and kind of and it also I mean it's a great way to like learn about the certain things like character development or you know what I mean like um, the uh, creating characters and modeling and UVW unwrapping and getting more familiar with Blender and stuff like that. So when I come back to Exalive, I'm going to be a lot, um, I'm going to be a lot more refreshed. I'm coming back to Exalive very soon. It'll be probably shortly after Halloween, and I will be doing these sort of game dev streams where it'll probably be me and other people. And if somebody joins the Patreon, they'll be able to actually participate in the voice chat. Or um, or the text chat. I'm, that doesn't make any sense though, because if I'm streaming, I'm not really sure. This idea isn't fully formulated yet. Uh, why do I have a blank screen? That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, there I am. Okay, I'm in. So um, the uh, Zombie Doll Lounge is mostly is ready for uh, for tonight. I think tonight I'm actually going to do a. Uh, a VR chat stream. I don't know if I want to stream VR chat though, but I I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe, maybe it'll be fun. Um, but the Zombie Down Lounge is now um ready for the party tonight, and we're gonna we're gonna stress test this. I'm utilizing a lot of techniques that I, I haven't um applied to other types of levels just yet. Um, I have a little castle chess pieces. <laughs> sort of hidden around the world um so this is a nightclub that is based on a real nightclub um in dallas texas called the lizard lounge now the uh the entrance still needs a lot of love because this you know this is like a uh a curved staircase and it needs to have like a proper you know it needs to not look like it's out of a quake map or something um but for the most part the calling system and everything like that is working. It's doing a little weird, uh, some weird stuff though. So I guess we'll find out exactly what it's like uh, once once we get a lot of people in. But this level is also utilizing a lot of the same techniques that I use for reducing lag by uh, separating areas off. Where once you're, you know, what like once you're standing inside of this area right here, you you can't see people outside of it, and unless you walk up to the edge and stick your head over and you can see through. Now what this does is it makes it so that um, so that you can escape the lag by pulling your friend off to the side and then somebody else like can can walk over and be like oh okay that's where they're you know that's where uh, these two guys are hanging out that I was just talking to and everything like that. It's not ideal but it's definitely not something it's definitely something that uh, it really helps when you have a lot of people in um, in one world and ultimately speaking I kinda wanna keep pushing that I, I like having uh, worlds that are just you know packed with people and it ends up being a really big party and there's always like stuff going on and people chatting and to me that's uh, that's just that's really where it's at so I love I love being able to the idea of being able to fill this club up with a ton of people and everything like that the idea is that uh, we'll have a, a party on uh, on you know Zombie Doll's birthday, which is the 31st or Halloween, so this is a Halloween themed uh, party, um, and uh, we'll probably come here and uh, I guess it'll end up feeling a little bit like going to the you know like a regular old uh, lizard lounge or church night. Um, <laughs> it's not like anyone dresses any differently in VR chat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure if it was easy to be a cat girl in um, in real life. Then uh, the the goth knights would have just been non you know cat girl uh, havens as well, 
So with that said, there's a lot going on um, on this front, and uh, Zombie Doll's avatar has been updated, but it's uh, it still needs a little bit of work. So this is her current avatar right now, and you can see her. She's got fangs and the elf ears. She's got uh, proper proportions for the legs, and somehow I managed to actually get the the wait. What's the avatar stats? Why does it say overall poor? Why does it say poor all of a sudden? What the hell? It, it shot all the way up to poor. I had it in green. The thing said green when I when I uploaded it. Oh. Okay, yeah, I figured the dynamic bones were going to do it. So. Yeah. It's easy enough to disable dynamic bones. You just uh, hit the little checkbox on them. Or at least, uh, I'll have to see. Well, uh, okay, with that said, though, the avatar is uh, doing pretty good. So, this should all be working out pretty well. Um, let's see, uh, what else was there? So, I'll probably start trying to get myself back into the habit of streaming. Um, I guess we'll see. Now there is a prospect as well that I may actually I'm I'm very soon going to begin developing for a um a VR chat social media game on the Unreal 4 engine. Um uh, I'll go into more detail about it. I probably have mentioned it in the past. Um I can't remember if I mentioned the name of the project and everything like that. But I am actually, uh, I've actually had some serious talks about joining the team and uh, contributing to that project as well. And it seems as though I'm pretty happy with the uh, prospects of it. Everything seems to be in really good shape. And uh, you may actually see me, uh, you know, developing for that project in tandem with developing for, um, you know, uh, XLive and everything like that. So that could end up becoming my new VR chat uh, side project, so to speak, where I will be developing worlds and create you know creative endeavors and everything like that within the Unreal 4 engine, utilizing all of the the beautiful uh, features of the blueprint system and everything of that nature in Unreal 4, which means that I can I can like run like a bandit on a project like that, like I would. I can I could do a hell of a lot on a project like that where I don't have to worry about all the little shit like key binding menus and all that crap that's going to slow me down. Nope. 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 I don't have to worry about the options menu. I don't have to worry about the title screen. I don't even have to worry about the uh you know the UI art. I I can I can create worlds that that are just cool in virtual reality and are designed for people to socialize, which is something that I'm already doing right now anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um, all right, and last but not least, the um, I am going to be placing like a little plaque or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure what's the best way to do it. But um, anyone who is a patron on Patreon, any projects that I'm developing for right now uh, uh, will have like some kind of a, a thing that lists all of the patrons. It, you know, it, once, once you're on the list, you're on the list forever. Um, not gonna bother to go through and prune it if somebody leaves or whatever, but like um, it, it'll end up probably being pretty big if it's the only if it's the two dollar list. So the worst that can happen is maybe at some point in time I'd have to bump it up to like a five dollar list or a ten dollar, you know, to get on uh, a new list or something like that. I, I'm not really sure which is the best way. Any any feedback regarding Patreon? Honestly, I I feel completely like I'm in the dark. Like. Um, as far as like what's the best overall practice for that kind of stuff in general. So with that said, I think I'm pretty much done talking for now. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more consistent with my videos. I always keep saying this, but I've been, I, I've been kind of laxed on that. I think that if I start doing some live streams, that'll actually make things a little bit easier for me. Although, I mean, do I really need live streams? And if I can just make like short videos, I don't know. Um. I'm not really sure. I'll give it a shot tonight just to see what it's like if it ends up becoming weird or something like that because social experiences in VR can tend, 
know, tend to vary quite a bit. Uh, um, <laughs> with that said, I'm not really sure where I my stance should ever be on the oddities of virtual reality. But I do know that my next my next avatar is probably going to say Ready Player One was bullshit. I, I'm gonna have, I, I want a fucking Ready Player One was bullshit T-shirt on my virtual reality avatar because I'm calling bullshit on a lot of stuff. I think a lot of people have these ideals they don't know. They don't really understand or know what this sub genre really actually is. What kind of a culture has formed around it and why. And I don't think a lot of people understand it. We are we are literally like a couple years away from full haptic suits and, and shit already. I mean, I'm seeing people already coming up with like, you know, haptics and, and improved headsets. Like, it's like this stuff is only going to continue to get better. It's going to have a huge impact on on as 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 it grows as a social media platform. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to be a part of it. And that's one of the reasons why I've preached about wanting to do it in the past and actually develop my own. But now now I actually have an opportunity where I can take part in you know in something uh, of this nature just organically I can just be a part of it so with that said I th I think that uh it's gonna be really interesting <laughs> I don't know what else to say actually <laughs> all right I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna end this now take it easy everyone see you in the next one